We're here at Bluffton High School Friday morning with Amanda Berman, who is a language, who is a language arts teacher, as well as a swim coach and the dance director. And she just found out, I assume, correct? Yes. That she was the Golden Apple Award recipient. Congratulations! And you can see some of the students who nominated her in the background there. But just kind of explain. What did you think this convocation was this morning? I had no idea. We were actually making jokes about we had no idea what was going on. It was supposed to be very special. They had to repost, they had to postpone it and redo it. And I actually had a late bus ride last night, hence the dress down today. <laughs> um, we talked about having a convocation during homeroom. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I wonder what it's about. And mm -hmm. we walk in here, I saw a camera. I was like, oh, someone must be getting an award. And I started just sitting there with my <laughs> coffee. And then someone, then my girl started reading. And I go, oh. Oh no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your first thought when they said, Amanda Berman, your first thought was? I went, oh no, what I wear, to, why did I do my hair today? <laughs> no. um, I was thankful. Right. I was very thankful. I was surprised and thankful. All right, so well again, congratulations. And I saw, if I understand it correctly, your husband and parents were here? Yes, my husband and in-laws were here. And they were able to smuggle them in without they, you knowing? Yeah, they smuggled them in, and I actually was supposed to get my wisdom teeth taken out last week, and oh. they canceled. They like secretly canceled so the doctor couldn't have a day that day, and so I couldn't get my wisdom teeth taken out. Okay. So the doctor called me and tried to reschedule, and I was like, oh, this is so stupid. I was so angry, and so they just let me know they're the ones that had to cancel it. Oh. And so they, the doctor's office was not on it. Oh, so, that, man, this was as covert as you can yes. get. So I'm completely surprised and caught right. off guard. Well, just, and I hate to spring this question on you, because there could be 500 different ways to answer it, but what is the most fulfilling part of teaching for you? The most fulfilling part? Mm-hmm. That is a tough question. It is. Um, I'd have to say the students. Mm -hmm. I adore the students. I, I know it's like the, sometimes it, people understand how much you like what you do. Mm -hmm. um, every day it's a different day, and every day I have different smiles. And every day I get to see someone who was upset in the beginning and then happy in the end of the day, mm -hmm. and that makes me very happy. And I, sometimes they don't even have to go to college to be successful, and I think mm -hmm. that sometimes kids get very bogged down by going to college, and yeah. so to even see the small successes, be it correctly writing a five-paragraph essay, mm -hmm. or learning the life lesson of being nice to others who you don't know, mm -hmm. as long as they learn something, I am so happy and fulfilled at the end of the day. Excellent. All right. Well, then how do you top a morning like this? With a big cup of coffee. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. here We're here with several members of student council, um, the four students. Is it just you four the help nominate or was there more than this or? Actually us three. Us three. And, and, mm -hmm. and Colleen's also on student then, council. And then, yes, I'm also on student council and I've had her as a coach and teacher. So. Uh, okay, okay. Well these helped get Amanda Berman her Golden Apple Award here at Bluffton High School and I'm just going to quickly run down here. We have Connelly Mettler. And what grade are you in Connelly? I'm a junior. She's a junior. And then Audrey is still? Yep. Okay. Senior. Senior. And then Taylor Pulver? I'm a freshman. Freshman. And Janae Steffen? And I'm a junior. Okay. So guys, I'm just going to shift here so we can kind of rotate a little more easily. What was it that inspired you to nominate Ms. Berman? I just felt that she brought so many new ideas onto the floor. Mm -hmm. She had a new, she made a blog in which we could all like um, type up like, well, she'd make a topic and then mm -hmm. we'd we'd talk about it and then we could all see each other's, um, everyone in the classes, what they put on it too. And it was just really neat that she brought a new standard up to um, this curriculum. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. And Taylor, I'm not trying to skip you, just you don't have her, correct? You yeah, just, you I assisted don't. with the nomination, yeah, so. so not trying to bypass it here. <laughs> but Audrey? Yeah. Um, Berman has brought a lot of new ideas to the school. Mm -hmm. uh, she's has a passion for dancing, a passion for swimming, and you can clearly tell because she gets gets the team really involved and we get really excited when we mm -hmm. swim or dance and do all that stuff. Uh, she actually has a website, okay. www.amandaberman.com, uh -huh. and she has everything she does on there. She has her <laughs> school stuff, her speech and language, she has Tiger Dance Company on there, she has mm -hmm. swimming on there, calendars, changes, updates. Um, she likes to get really involved and keep everybody up to date and Excellent. keeps us organized. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And just kind of what your same question. What are your thoughts? And um, I think she's just such a great teacher. She brings such a fresh and new personality to um, our school, and mm -hmm. she's been involved in so much, including like Audrey said, swimming, and she um, um, she brought on the Tiger Dance Company, <laughs> and just just such a fresh new person to the school yeah. is so good for us. Excellent. Now I could be wrong here, so I just overheard some conversations in the past, but did I hear you guys did not know until today? Is that correct that or did was I? Me. I just okay. found out five minutes before I was going to yeah. speak in front of the whole entire okay. school. Didn't know. Okay. Well, I know Amanda so Berman my heart didn't was know. Quite a bit. 
it, but I got the there. The teachers didn't even know. Nobody yeah. knew what this convo was about. There was, I think, three, three faculty knew, and we knew. Okay. So <laughs> we had to keep it a secret from our coach for so, a week. And so, because in fact, it was supposed to be, today is Friday the 20th, and it was supposed to be last Friday. Yes, so we had a delay. Delay. So was it hard yeah. seeing her every day and thinking, yeah. well, well can't talk at her. She, she actually asked, uh, hey, what's the convocation going to be about tomorrow? And we just kind of laughed to ourselves and said, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could use your speech skills to make up something quickly. Exactly, exactly. So you just said, I don't know? Yeah. Oh, we, good answer. We said, probably something important. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we don't know and nobody knows. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hey, guys, congratulations on getting nominated. Just the fact that you were able to explain yourself so clearly to do that is an honor. Mm -hmm. So thank you much and appreciate it very much and have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So much.